Hey, I'm Benny Sinclair, author of Games in the Fight, An Untold Story. I'm a rapper, I'm a boxer. Combine the two, you get Benny Sinclair. I've always written lyrics down, I'm a rapper. So since I was a young kid, I used to get a pen and a pad, write my lyrics down. But I never began to think about writing a book until 2020, when lockdown struck. COVID meant that life changed, particularly here in Melbourne, Australia. We had very strict lockdown conditions, but we got through it. And coincidentally, in January 2020, I got my first record deal and I signed with a record label, a small independent record label based in California. And then with that, I had a few radio interviews and podcasts and that asked me a lot of questions about being a rapper in the land down under and how that all came about. And also, as you can see, and you might have noticed on the cover of my front cover, there was a pose of me boxing. So how did the boxing come about and how, how did the boxing work for me? Well, that was all part of my story and also finding myself. So I have lived an interesting life and I wanted to write a memoir and hoping to inspire others to pursue their dreams as well. And I think my writing style is, is quite, quite unique I bring my, my upbringing, my heritage, my experiences, my outlook on the world into 300 odd pages of entertainment. It's a brutal and compelling story. Um, it's kind of Nietzsche at times. Um, there's a little bit of humor in there as well. It's not to be taken terribly, terribly seriously, but there are some kind of hard hitting moments. I really would like to turn my book into film, bring it to life through film. And that was one of my other motivations for writing it. It's definitely a unique style and I'm really happy with the finished product. I think my style shows through really strongly and that's something I'm proud of. I think Games of the Fight, An Untold Story is best summed up as creative nonfiction. It's on the precedent that facts hit harder than fiction. However, the lines are kind of blurred a little bit for the, for the sake of entertainment and getting the, the narrative across. Given that I've written a creative non-fiction memoir, the truth is yes, a lot of the characters in the book are based on people I've known, including the protagonist. It is creative non-fiction, so it's woven into the narrative. My advice to other authors would be take your time. This project took me a good three and a half years to get it on the shelves and I rewrote it many, many times and I had some editors look at it as well and I took their advice on board. But ultimately, when I finished my book, it went in the direction I completely 100% wanted the book to go into. Write absolutely everything down. Don't be scared to put it all down because you can always strip back. Once the book's done, you can't add to it, but you can always cut back. So just write as much as you can. See all this? When I first started, it was double. And I have an original manuscript there that's double. It's almost 600 pages. And by the time we finish that, this book, I've got up to about 370, 375. So that can give you an indication of how much you need to write. And I feel by the time we finished, we got the best out of those 600 pages. Always put the narrative first. Don't put your ego first. Don't put what you like first. Put the narrative first. Put the story first. As a first time author, I felt Ingram Spark really made things easy, easy, especially when I got to the final stages of producing my book. And, and that can be the hardest. It's like you've ran that marathon You've done all the hard yards, the finish lines in front of you, where you get all the glory. And that's kind of like what Ingram Spark was. It was like the finishing line, you run through that ribbon and they were there to make things a lot easier. This version that I'm showing you now was actually the first version I wrote. And Ingram Spark um, allowed me to revise that and come back with another copy. And it was only a few small edits, but it did give me peace of mind that it wasn't as daunting. You did have time to kind of go back and look at it and get it absolutely perfect. So you're absolutely 100% happy with it. And that was what was good about Ingram Spark. Then when the book released, 
they just made it accessible to so many countries. Having a, a German mum, we have lots and lots of family in Germany. And being signed to a record label based in the USA, I've got you know a small fan base in the in the USA. So people internationally were, were able to purchase my book. It just made the whole journey really, really easy and enjoyable. I'm just really happy that I went with Ingram Spark. It was an awesome move. And from here, onwards and upwards, got to keep selling more books. And Ingram Spark are there every step of the way to make that happen.